Hello, I am Kat Woods and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite scripture writing tools. Now if you have been a follower of this channel for a while and you still have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. That's a free way you can help your sister out. It doesn't cost anything, you literally just subscribe, hit the like button on the videos that you really enjoy. Um, share them with your family, friends, uh, whoever you think can really benefit from my channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, um, and for those of you who have been subscribed for like ever, I love you all to pieces. You know I am a huge fan of writing out the Word of God. I really soak up so much more when I am physically active with His Word. So I am... A huge advocator of marking up your Bibles but for those of you who don't really like marking up your Bibles scripture writing is another amazing way that you can engage with God's Word and you're not really having to mark up your Bible so I'm gonna go share a few of my favorite tips not only tips a few of my favorite tools and there's quite a bit here. I got them all together and I was I was pretty surprised myself. Um, a lot of these have been a lot of these have been a blessing for this channel because I have amazing sisters who fell in love with these tools themselves, knew that they wanted you all to know about them, so they sent them to me so I can share with you guys. So I love this community. I love you all to pieces. So Thank you, thank you so much for all of my subscribers who help this channel out. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so these ones right here, these are journals you can get. And I don't, I haven't checked out their website or anything, but Laura is the one that sent these to me. They're called Write the Word Journals. This is says volume one, two, and three. Volume one, two, and three. Um... And here is the website, Create with Joy, all right, it says the best is yet to come. All right, so the first one here, we have a hard, it's a hard cover, bound cover is what I need to be saying, this beautiful floral blue, it has blue and white um, accents in the middle, which right here you could possibly put the person who gifted it to you or who you're gifting it to or you can put your favorite quote um, which and I'll show you a little bit more and on the inside of here but the orange one or peach color I don't know which color this is will have the same or have the same color of the outside on the inside and the same with this one I'll go ahead and take out this one too so we can see something because I am a bit curious all right, so we're gonna hop on in. There is stitching around the perimeter. We have little gold head and tail bands, matching head and tail bands. Oh, well, you see it. And one rib ribbon marker. It is smice sewn. You can see the stitching right here. All right, so. Hopping into the beginning, get my phone's going all crazy. It's a cloudy day, so my phone's going to be a little extra. There's a little note to the reader. Use the when you ever you share it, use the hashtag write the word. Join the community. All right. So when you first start, you have today's date. I love that gold accent what I'm grateful for today so I put today's date and then the weather so is it cloudy sunny and the temperature and then right here it's going to tell you you're on this one page you're going to write Matthew 5 3 through 10 all right so you can put the verse numbers I didn't choose to do that here but you can what I chose and I'll wait a minute here then on this next page you have a blank page and it says on my heart today so whatever you were writing down, you can reflect over here. So um, it's, you know, there's a lot of good verses here. There's a good amount you, you can write over here too. But another thing which you can do is 
I wrote him in the ESB translation. So this is Matthew 5, 3 through 10. Matthew 5, 3 through 10. And the um, New King James. So I just did two different translations. So I can come back and compare the two. You can do that too. In the next page, you're going to write from 13 through 16. And then it gives you your reflection page. You can do a reflection page. You can do um, a prayer. Maybe you want to pray over what you're writing. Now the pens I used right here, I used two different pens. So I used the Pilot G Techs. No, the Pilot G2s, but I used the Zero um, 38. So the super, super tiny one. Here they are. They're the ultra thin. So they're not thin, they're ultra thin. So they're the 38 meter. That's what I used on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, I used my Pentel. And then the 06. Because I know a lot of you all like using them thick, um, you know, 07s, the really, really thick, thick pins. So I wanted to use the thickest that I like. I don't like the 07 or 08. The 06 is the thickest that I, I can enjoy writing. <laughs> so that was the 06. Here is the back page with the G2. There's no bleed through. You can see a little bit of the show, like show through. But no bleed through. And then here's the 06 of the Pentel. So once you're writing on both sides, you can't even, like, there's more show through on camera. And the page numbers are also, like, numbered. Each page is numbered. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. So the end of the first volume, it will end in Psalms 16. So we have Matthew, because obviously it's not the full book of Matthew. Wow, it has Mark too. I don't know why their setup is like that, but this is what the setup is. So we have 6, 6, chapter 7, Matthew 7, Matthew 11, 13, 18, 19, 28. So it skips around. They don't stay consistent. Then it goes just Mark 11. And then it jumps into Proverbs. So Proverbs 3, 3, 3, 3. So you're going to write out the whole chapter of Proverbs 3. And then jumps up to 31, Proverbs 31. So you're not staying like consistency, like you're writing out the whole book of Matthew, the whole book of Proverbs. You're not doing that. You're just, you're definitely skipping around. Now it goes to Proverbs 4. So I'm sure there's a reason behind this. And maybe that would be why you would need to read the beginning of this. I don't really see how that. Okay, so it will bring you directions to comfort, peace, and joy. So maybe all the verses that pertain to these in volume one, volume two. No, it has the same ones. Volume two, it's from, it starts at Psalms 18. Psalms 63, Psalms 21, and then it goes into Romans. So yeah, I like, I somewhat like how it jumps around because it keeps things fresh. It is kind of hard to stay doing and writing out one whole book that really takes a lot of discipline because you want to know what else is out there. There's a lot of good verses. So I do kind of like how it skips around like that. All right. So check out these journals. They're super, super exciting. Highly, highly recommend them. These next ones I have received from my sweet sister, Sherry Brown. Now she sent these um, back in 20, 2018, so a while ago. And here's something else. This is what I found out, especially about these. When I first got them, I loved them. I'm using them up. But over time, 
they kind of get put off on the bookshelf because we got other things going on. Maybe something in our life, maybe other Bibles, for me in my case, other Bibles were coming in. So it's okay to put something back, like on the bookshelf, and to pull it back out maybe in a different season that will be more helpful. You'll be able to obtain more from it. So right here, she got me the full book full two journals over Psalms. So Psalms chapter one through 72 um, in this one and chapters Psalm 73 through 150 in this book. All right, then the whole book of Romans here and then Proverbs. So and the Proverbs are done the same way. So it's two books for Proverbs and Psalms. All right, I'll show you what the inside, again, these are the hard covers. These are super hard covers. I guess these ones are semi hard because they're still kind of flexible, but they are hard. They're soft, but hard. More like a journal. But these ones are hard covers. All right. And they are also my sewn. They got gold and black matching head and tail bands with one ribbon marker. And then this is where she received them from, or where she purchased them from. See, back in 2018. Here's some information. The website. And this says, why is it the Y1718 series? And it explains all their journals. If you look at the front of it. It says 1718 series and we're like okay what is that about you read this over and it will explain it to you the purpose of the Jubilee journals explains how to use it all right so jumping in we have a blank page for notes and if you look at the very very faintness there is a fountain pen like a feather pen so it's in its ink and then here's the feather on every page is like that. I love it. All right, over here we have why is the book of Psalms? What is the book of Psalms? I'm sorry. And then what is it attended attended purpose? So you write like your purpose for this. And then over here, very very faint, not really strong. What are two ways of life and what matters? and what makes them different. So over these verses, one through six, it has a question and you read it, obviously, pray over it, and then you answer the question. And I, you have a whole full page for that. Over here, we have Psalms one through six, and these verse numbers, they come on the page. You just write out the verse, like the whole verse there. Love, 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 love that. At the beginning, I was struggling to know what translation to use so any translation is you can use whatever your hearts desire over here it's another question so i like it. it it gets your wheels turning you're asking yourself you're not only writing out the book or writing out your own reflections your own prayers and sometimes we may not even know what to ask it actually has its own questions inside so i really really like that now don't push and don't be too hard on yourself if you can't answer the question right then and there just skip over and go on to the next page this is a whole page just for your notes or prayers list of activities of the Lord so through here I would write down his activities this one right here has two different ones two different questions why does David need mercy? And what's the significance of the morning activities? What does it mean to put trust in the Lord? So really, really good questions. All right, let me show you a blank page. Here's the blank page. And there are the verses. So it tells you what book and which chapter and then one through seven. So one through seven and the paper in this one is thicker and it is also paged um, numbered so each numbered is paged 
each page has its number. There we go, if I could talk correctly. I always use the back, so this back note page as a tester page so I could test out which pens I was able to use. I was even able to use my fountain pen, so super excited about that one. All right, so these are the Jubilee journals. They're all the same way. This is the Romans one. So it will start out. Who's the author? What's the purpose of the letter? And then what does it mean to be a servant? You write that down and then you go from one through eight. So love, 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 love these journals. I'm going to put them, pull them back out and start using them again. All right, so these are the hardback journals that I have. There are Crossway has, you can buy them separately or you can buy the whole pack, but they also have little scripture writing journals. This was also sent for me from one of my sweet sisters. You can get it on Crossway or you can get it on ChristianBook.com. But theirs has the word, theirs is on soft. So theirs is a little, you have to fight it to stay open. Unlike the other ones, you do have to do a little, a little bit of working. But you do get the word, the scriptures over here. And then you can copy it directly on the next page. Again, this is for scripture writing. The purpose is to write out the scripture. You're engaging with it. But if you did not want to mark in your Bible, but you did want to have a way of doing it, use this. So you can underline, you can highlight, you can circle, and then you can use this page over here for prayers, reflection, thoughts. Um, maybe you can do some verse mapping. You can do all kinds of stuff on this page. But... You can also use it for scripture writing. There are really faint little lines or little dots that make up a line. It is my sewn too. I love how they're my sewing everything. There's nothing glued. <laughs> when they glue their stuff, it's going to fall apart. So I got Colossians, Philem Philemon, and Galatians, and Thessalonians 1 and 2. So there's a crossaway one. I do have the whole section or the whole collection of the Abide journals. Another amazing ones. You can get them in whole sets or singles. Same concept. Soft covers. You can get it at Thomas Nelson or ChristianBook.com, Amazon, all of those how to use this journal. This one is a little bit more. There's more to this one. So we got Genesis. That's like an overview over Genesis, so like an introduction. Then we have, look how big and huge this one is. So if the other ones were a little bit too small, well the crossway one, this one has a very, very huge print. And again, if you want to highlight, underline, circle, do any kind of marking not in your Bible you can bring it to one of these what's so amazing about these ones is they have questions meditations prayers that really really helps teaches you how to use and learn how to apply God's Word then they have these lines over here all right so I really like these ones this journal set now you can do the scripture writing I don't think there will be enough room to copy these words over here that doesn't seem like enough lines or space to me in my opinion so I think these lines are just to answer these questions so it's not really a scripture writing like actually copying down the scriptures per se but it is another tool to keep you active so I did want to share that. All right, those are my journals. Now for my Bibles, I recently just shared um, one of my subscribers' new Bible that he just created, Alex. So this one is all the Gospels and Acts. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the book of Acts. 
Now this one, you literally are reading the whole book. The ch the chapter numbers are they're kind of they're kind of faint. They're not really strong. So just the word of God is what's bold, and you can copy whatever you're reading on this page directly on the lines next to it. And this one right here is the KJV translation, and it's spiral bound. For those of my brothers and sisters who like the spiral bound, this is an amazing option for you. I will leave the review for that in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Another KJV fave, this is the classic note Bible. And I got this from the KJV store. It's literally called the classic note Bible. And this is a Bible. It is the inner leaf edition. So it is the Word of God on one side with a blank piece of paper in the in, in between. But it's not like the journaling Bible, the ESV journaling Bible that I have. This is an actual Bible paper. You like to see how it looks marked up. I have marked up a few pages. I thought I did some high. Yeah, I knew I did some highlights. <laughs> All right, so. This is with me marking, underlining, highlighting, doing all that. The paper is pretty thin, but there's no bleed through. This is a blank piece of paper. I was able to write a lot of information, different study notes, list. If you're curious to know what I use, what type of pens, check out what's in my pen bag. Here's the back page. So it's not distracting once you write on it. All right, so for all my KJV blessings of God. Oh, I liked how I did that. So whenever I this Bible was referring to the blessings of God, I used the purple highlighter and I boxed it in. So all these are blessings of God. I gotta do that more often. See, I like coming back and looking at my at my old notes. All right, so those are the KJV and the New King James. This one is a newly released. It was newly released last year, I do believe. This is from Thomas Nelson, and this is the hardcover cloth. They may have different covers by now. So they have two column format. And you just write literally what's on this page, on this page over here. All right. But the one I have been using, loving, and enjoying, I have a huge playlist over this one right here. This is the ESB Crossway, and I have been doing this one since 2018. From Genesis to Revelation, I have been working out, and oh, what a journey this has been. I've used many, many, many pins, you all. Let me just show you. All of these pins. And I'm sure there's been my least four, four, four other ones that I just, at the beginning, didn't even put in here. But yeah. So I'm writing whatever's on the opposite page, and I'm putting it on the blank page. So this has been an amazing journey and major scripture writing. I love it. I'll show yesterday's page. I think this is, yeah, this is it. So I am in Proverbs now. And I've been using the Pilot G2s and that bold, the 38. I like how bold it is. So. The whole book of Proverbs, I'm going to use this pen. As you can tell, it's bolder than the Pentels. Look at this. Look at that difference. The Pentel 03, it's light, which I love. I love that nice light. But sometimes something about this bold color. Again, it's probably just the season I'm in. It's just, it's really, really, really beautiful. So I started it, yeah, I started it right here, chapter 14. 
And if you'd like to see um, my journey, I've made mistakes. I've taught you guys how to fix your mistakes. Um, every, everything. All the tips and tricks that I've learned. Check out the playlist. I'll go ahead and leave it linked in the description box below. But yeah, this is this is another another one I encourage you all. Just different Bibles you can use. Obviously, you don't need any of these, so please don't feel like you have to run out and buy something. You can use the Bible that you have, a plain notebook, a journal, and just start writing. Just writing out your favorite book. Um, do more than just one verse, you all. Force yourself to do chapters. If you can't do a whole book of the Bible, so do chapters. It's, it's very beneficial, I'm telling you. The moment you're, because you're reading, you're writing it out, then you're going back and rereading to make sure you didn't change a word, you didn't miss something up. It's, it's, an, ex, it's an exciting journey. So, okay, if you do have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below. And if you have tackled this journey, let me also know in the comments. But I'm going to cut it off there. Remember, be a creative tool. And our Father's Art Box. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.